Into the far north we shall take you, as far as we can by the means of computer role playing. Unreal World RPG. There are countless stories, legends and myths about the first wind. During the first wind, the Inemo became many. Men, wives, children, the heroes and the wise ones walked the earth. The heroes made the fire, they made the bow and the arrow and they hunted. They made clothes, they made tools and shelters, they made skis and they made drums and they made the candle. When the first winter was over, Inehmo's, uh, Inehmoes, uh, probably, uh, since this is actually an archaic uh, Finnish word, I'm pretty sure, uh, it means humans by the way, uh, could not understand the wind sin singing, uh, nor the bear and the forest humming. Uh, the wise ones uh, among the people said the world was no longer real. The world was unreal. So, uh, I'm starting a video game commentary series of Unreal World. Unreal World is a unique uh, uh, graphical roguelike RPG based on ancient Finland in the late Iron Age, roughly 800 to 1200 of the Common Era. The game has been praised for its uh, depth, depth uh, realism, atmosphere and immersion. The game can... Uh, the ga ga this game has uh, uh, been free of charge since early 2013, and its uh, development is uh, supported by don donations. I donated, and for proof you can look at the uh, uh, Hall of Fame, and you'll see, see my nickname there. I don't think I've played Unreal World before, or uh, uh, very, at the very least, uh, or very little if I have. Um, However, I've watched it being played and commentated on, but even that was maybe two or three years ago. I will uh, and have been reading the wiki also. These reasons are why I'm, I'm calling this, going to call this a uh, semi-blind series. So, uh, <laughs> probably nothing interesting in the uh, setup. There isn't even a resolution option I'm going to have to upscale this, uh, since uh, uh, YouTube doesn't support uh, those strange resolutions like 800 times 600 uh, <laughs> and stuff. But anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, select the custom uh, uh, character creation uh, uh, route and name my character Erki after, well, another, uh, the protagonist in another Finnish game. <laughs> uh, Probably no, nobody other than me on this channel has ever heard of that game, but anyway... <laughs> and we... Uh, I'm... The culture uh, means that uh, has some in-game uh, meaning, they have uh, different uh, statistics and stuff, uh, and uh, different uh, places they, will, they can spawn. Hmm. Actually, no, that's not right. Uh, the, uh, well, the cultural regions are confined to uh, some specific places on the map. But anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, select... Actually, um, you can... Uh, well, I don't uh, feel like going through the, uh, all of the in-game uh, uh, info browsers for each of these cultures, but we will read this Gaumolainen culture, since uh, that's what I will be choosing. By the way, if you haven't already been able to tell, I am actually finished myself. Uh, Gaumolaises... Uh, ga um, <laughs> already uh, I'm proving to be not fit to be finished <laughs> by misreading such uh, <laughs> obvious thing, things. Um, whatever, you, you fools! <laughs> uh, 
Kaumolaiset kaumaan people, those who live in the kaumo, live in the vast forests. The families uh, don't live ne next to each other, so instead of proper villages where houses are scattered around sparsely, they tend to be tough, tall and strong people, whom... Uh, uh, hmm. Shouldn't this be who just, um, but anyway, uh, are proud of their f freedom. They live mainly on active hunting and fish fishing. On uh, their hunting trips, uh, calm men can uh, spend uh, weeks alone in the wilderness, tracking and stalking their prey. Uh, they are well known for their Kaumolaise spear, which is uh, specially designed for hunting big animals. Kaumo region is rich of, of game, uh, uh, providing fine design, fine uh, quality furs. That is why Kaumolaise have uh, to defend their homes and hunting grounds against uh, Neuropeds raiders. In uh, combat situations the Kaumalaiset are fearless and furious, uh, putting up heavy resistance with a spear, a knife or even with uh, bare hands. So the reason why I'm uh, uh, picking this uh, um, race uh, or whatever, tribe, yes, tribes, uh, is because, um, well, first of all, they are uh, um, sort of a jack, jacks of old old trades and uh, uh, recommended for uh, beginners. Yes, uh, so they have a, a high ever one of the highest, uh, the second highest actually. The owl tribe is even better at this, uh, I believe, uh, of the average uh, of the uh, stats. Uh, well, 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 whatever, I can't explain it right? <laughs> very well, probably, anyway. So, uh, also, we, uh, um, I feel like uh, hunting and stuff, uh, well, this game has a very interesting uh, combat system and, uh, well, I intend to, well, uh, and tracking system, I intend to uh, sort of... Uh, 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 show it to you, yes. Uh, and also, uh, <laughs> this, uh, the Kaumalaiset sort of uh, <laughs> is, um, seems to me more like the stero stero stereotypical Finnish, uh, at least how. I, they are, uh, e, um, e, how they are, um, hmm. let, let me think about the right, right wording, so I don't say anything stupid. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut this probably, uh, <laughs> this thinking period. <laughs> This always happens to me. I can't think of uh, the right wordings. Uh, um, we, um, well, in in memes, they are sort of uh, Finnish people are uh, usually portrayed. It was portrayed out. How could I not uh, think of that sooner? Uh, it's strange how uh, when you, I actually start speaking, then I can uh, uh, more easily think of the uh, right word. Uh, so the, in uh, uh, memes, they are you usually portrayed as uh, we sort of uh, lone wolves who uh, fight bears with their bare hands and. Nah, well, no, maybe not that, but uh, anyway, <laughs> they have lots of Sisu Finnish, Sisu, uh, which pretty much means perseverance uh, against all odds and stuff, and, um, and, <laughs> well, there are many more fun, funny uh, things uh, that 
uh, how Finnish people are portrayed in memes, like they they were, uh, they have bears as the dogs and uh, elk as the cats or whatever. I can't e- exactly remember how that went, but anyway. <laughs> so that's uh, what I will be playing as. <laughs> Uh, the stereotypical thing. <laughs> well, uh, well, at least how they are portrayed in memes. I mean, of course they w- won't be uh, <laughs> really how a Finnish people were. Of course not. But uh, I enjoy a uh, fine meme uh, every now and again. Uh, so. Uh, that's why I will be playing a Skaumalainen. And, <laughs> and uh, my... Um, hmm... Okay, I don't rem... I, I can actually check. Uh, did we say anything about... No, 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 no. Uh, it was F1. Um, do we say anything about... Uh, what uh, we... Uh, men and women are like so do they have uh, different roles and stuff um, well I don't know but anyway it sort of seems like if we go uh, um, uh, um, if you follow the traditional gender roles it seems like if I want to be that hunter thing I want to be when uh, uh, it makes a little bit more sense at least uh, from that perspective to uh, select male so um, it also I'm male myself so it may makes my job easier trying to voice act <laughs> 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 okay, I already selected this um, last one uh, for my uh, character's portrait. It seems uh, to me sort of like that sort of really, uh, very um, tough, rough, tough, jolly sort of fellow. <laughs> uh, so that's what I will be uh, playing as and the season. Uh, Probably not the wind of a Finnish winters can be quite harsh. Pretty harsh. So, <laughs> uh, I, I already sort of uh, decided that I will be playing in the spring so I can uh, have the most time to prepare for the wind. <laughs> the Finnish spring is... Uh, Quite cold also, but not uh, that cold, but I will be freezing. So that's what I will be playing. Uh, um, my... Uh, uh, no, 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 I, my train of thought was somehow interrupted. I, know, I don't know how. Uh, I, I uh, have to be more perceptive about what I talk about. Ah! Oh, it makes me mad! Ah! Okay, um... I I want, uh... At least, at the very least, decent speed, eyesight, hearing, and... Uh, this physique, uh... Thing here. Because, uh... Well, this agility, speed, and eyesight, uh... Govern the dodge chance, which is uh, pretty... Me, pretty much impossible or very hard. Well, well, you you would have to go into combat to train um, a dodge chance any later in the game, so it makes sense for me to uh, try to get uh, uh, much of these stats. And the physique uh, governs the uh, amount I can carry, so... I don't know much about what these other things do. I haven't really um, uh, been on the wiki for that much, but uh, well, these are decent, but not as much as I would prefer. Also, strength would be nice to have uh, higher than this, since I want to be be that. Uh, rough uh, <laughs> uh, uh, person with bears as their pets. <laughs> uh, no, I don't even think this game allows that, but, but that will be 
that's so uh, fun to say. Uh, okay, a bit better. Uh, well, the physique isn't uh, the best, but um, uh, the smell taste good and well, these are pretty good average stats, but uh, do I want this? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, sure, I, I don't really care that much. Uh, uh, so these are my known rituals and incantations. The hunting ritual is uh, something I can uh, use to make my hunting trips more successful. It must be performed very early in the morning before the hunting starts and the origin of fire uh, is when uh, you know the origin of phenomena. Uh, shouldn't that be ph phenomena? Uh, you can uh, control them and when you successfully uh, <coughs> Also, two S's probably should be there. Uh, sh speak out the origin of a fire, you can uh, usually su successfully make a fire. Uh, hmm. Well, the thing about fi making fires uh, to me seems, seems in this game is just that it takes so long, uh, so that, that w would be uh, probably uh, uh, the. Uh, M m more of what I would more like what I would <sighs> more like what I would like yes uh, these are different from uh, well the hunting incantation was the same but uh, this origin of fire is something I didn't have in my test uh, game I didn't really uh, play that long it was just for testing stuff <laughs> Obviously. Uh, so, uh, I will have to. Uh, um, I have sort of a list of uh, Finnish uh, guardian spirits and uh, vakis and st uh, guard and stuff, so I can sort of um, <sighs> spoil myself. <laughs> well, not. not well, t take a look at the uh, correct uh, people and uh, well, well, the um, supernatural uh, things I should be uh, uh, sort of um, sort of um, bring towards and uh, whatever. So the um, vacuum of fire means uh, spirits of fire, but uh, also the destructive forces of fire and healing power of warm air, for example, in uh, a sauna. So it appears I uh, am uh, um, worshipping them, or, well, I, I don't know if it's called worship in Finnish uh, paganism, maybe it can be called that, uh, whatever. <sighs> That's another thing I will be. Uh, <laughs> and the hunting incantation probably uh, means the uh, the uh, tuppy of the king of a forest and stuff. Uh, uh, there's actually a, a hu huge list uh, of uh, Finnish uh, deities on or. And uh, guardian spirits and stuff on uh, Finnish Wikipedia. Uh, these are from the English version, so <laughs> these only uh, list some major things that there are. <clears throat> anyway, let's see. Uh, I want, let's see, I had a list here somewhere. Um, Invest in these skills, Physician, Bow, Spear, Cookery and Hide Working. Physician uh, makes, um, well, it uh, is a skill for treating wounds, injuries and medical ailments. A successful uh, um, wound treatment will improve healing. So Physician is uh, a must, pretty much. Uh, then the spear, because I will uh, probably be using a spear as my melee weapon. A bow is uh, useful for any everybody, and it's uh, tough to uh, learn. I uh, I think, at least. Uh, and what else? What else? Um, 
spear cookery height working. Cookery is uh, for making a quality food, which is much better than um, non-quality food. <laughs> well, whatever. And height working since uh, well, I, I will be sort of already. I will be uh, <coughs> hunting stuff, and it sort of fits uh, what my character will be doing. Uh, so. Um, so that's what I will be uh, picking. Uh, well, well, there are other things that would be nice to have, but I feel like these are the ones I want this character to have at least. Yes, I am happy with this. Uh, this game has a random map uh, generation, which, uh, by the way, uh, generates uh, the southern Finland. Uh, well, well, that's uh, not, not. I'm a uh, map resembling uh, southern Finland. I think that would be uh, a correct wording. Finland is, of course, the uh, country of a thousand lakes, so it's full of these blue things here. Yeah. Of course, there wouldn't be this uh, ocean here, well, but whatever, it's. Uh, the world just ends away in this game, it seems. <laughs> uh, so I want to uh, toggle uh, color in culture color indicators. I sort of want to start bo near both Remi, which is uh, a sort of um, um, uh, trade uh, trading. Uh, Civilization. The Dreek is another one, uh, but I, uh, uh, Remy is uh, closer to my uh, my home uh, culture. Home culture. Anyway, I want these uh, two re cultural regions to be uh, a bit closer to each other. So let's re randomize the world uh, a few times uh, until we get what we want. <laughs> It's just something I uh, personally want. There's probably no real, uh, real benefit. Well, this is mm, quite close, but not enough. Still, they can be close. Uh, I haven't uh, yet seen them touch each other, but uh, <sighs> ever so. In Hmm, this is interesting. We, these are quite uh, bunched up there. Uh, no, I don't like this either. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Watch me press this uh, after I've gotten the perfect. Uh, World. <laughs> uh, this is pretty good. I think this will be uh, good enough. Uh, I want to start in this general area. This might be might take a while. Well, there was one uh, that was quite good. Um. Uh, Sure, let's go with this. So, I want to uh, be the fisherman, since that's uh, <coughs> recommended for the beginners. Uh, carrying extensive fishing equipment, you started to follow your path as a fisherman. Let's actually check the uh, description. In your childhood, you used to go fishing with your uncle. From him you learned to respect the guardian spirits of the water and were, were, and were always uh, fascinated when uh, he sacrificed some fish to them uh, after a good catch. Uh, you began to admire the power of the water and dreamed of becoming a, a great fisherman one day. Once you and your uncle got a poor catch and your uncle didn't want to sacrifice any fish as your village was starving. Uh, 
But uncle, maybe you still should, you tried to say. Quite no, he interrupted you. We must go home. Uh, before you uh, got to the uh, shore, you were caught in, uh, in a sudden storm and your punt capsized. Uh, all uh, the fish you had caught along with you and your uncle fell into the water. You managed to, to swim to the so shore, but your uncle was mad and he put it on you. You should never fish again, the guardian spirits of the water. <laughs> we oh, dear, the king of the water, <laughs> especially that and uh, we don't, uh, where was I? And don't like him, he declared to the people, and you were never allowed to f go fishing again. The time went by, but you didn't give up your dream. You often used to, to sit on the shore, watching the, the water and talking to it. You always thought that uh, we were... That wouldn't have been a storm if your uncle had sacrificed even one fish. One night you sneaked into the fishing shed and took all the equipment you could carry. I know uh, enough to make my living by fishing, fishing alone, you mumbled. And as you left your home for good. We, days after that weren't easy, but uh, little by little you began to learn to use your to use you your <laughs> to use you your fishing tackle better and the further you travelled the more friendly the waters seemed to be um, and i will check uh, as my game course with living in the wild since uh, well, it's sort of a tutorial thing. Uh, tasks to teach you the basics of wilderness survival and to test your survival skills as you roam across the land and explore the wide world. This game, uh, game, game course starts with easy and fundamental wilderness survival tasks and slowly gets you accustomed to living in the wild, eventually bringing you among people and ways of more settled life. <coughs> Sure. Uh, cra character creation is completed. Erkki Kaumola. Erkki Kaumolainen is about to enter unreal world. The world will surely teach one, if nothing else, and to walk slowly. A Finnish proverb. Uh, <laughs> uh, Where? Well, well, let's also read this, even though it was sort of a version of this was in the big start of this video also. Among the peoples there are several different runes and myths about the origin of the world and how it how it became unreal. However, a common core is clearly visible, which is not a surprise as all the peoples are of the same origin. The basic myth goes as follows. In the beginning, the world was bare and silent. The wind, the forest and all the animals were formed out of the song of the Sky Father and Earth Mother. As all the creatures sang together, the Inehmo uh, woke up and uh, joined the singing. But the harmony was broken when the Inehmo had to build a lodge for shelter in the first winter. And uh, when the first winter was over, the wise ones among the peoples realized that the world was no more real. I uh, actually uh, be believe uh, we uh, in Finnish uh, mythology in, in reality uh, the, the world was uh, uh, became to existence came to existence from uh, the uh, egg of a seabird, yes. Something like that is how the story goes in real life, but uh, this is the unreal world we are talking about. I, well, the Sky Father would probably be Ukko, the um, overguard, uh, the equivalent uh, uh, in uh, real life Finnish uh, mythology and 
Hmm. Uh, well, uh, we, we uh, also Akka, who is the uh, um, uh, wife of uh, Ukko, but uh, I believe uh, uh, she would also be li living on the, in the sky, so uh, that probably isn't. Uh, an equivalent to Earth Mother. I, I, I don't know that much about Finnish mythology and stuff, but uh, it, it, it's only because of this game I sort of uh, started uh, looking at it. So, b because, of course, I'm uh, such an over-preparer. I want to... I want my videos to be perfect. Uh, I, like, I, I never make mistakes and stuff and... <laughs> uh, so that's why I sort of uh, t took a bit of a look at uh, Finnish mythology. We already uh, saw this. Um